everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber, and today I'm going to show you how to turn a non-seamless texture into a seamless texture so that instead of having seams, you can tile it seamlessly. Let's get started. So this is the texture that I'm going to use, and it is not seamless, which means the edges are not going to match up with each other when I tile it in any program. So the way I'm going to fix this is I'm going to take my original texture and I'm going to use a filter. So I'm going to do the filter drop down, go to other and go to offset. And then I'm going to set my values so that I can see the seams in the middle and it kind of creates a cross. Basically this is just going to push my texture over so that the middle is all going to be what the edges look like. Now if this was a less complicated pattern, I would just take my stamp tool and stamp along the edges so that they blend in, but because this has such a large pattern, I'm going to have to look at this a different way. I'm going to use my quick selection tool, which the shortcut is W, or you can click up here in the menu, and I'm going to select this blue jelly bean, and I'm going to go up into the top and click select and mask. Once I'm in this menu, I'm going to up my values a little bit in my smooth, my feather, my contrast, and I'm going to shift the edge down a little bit so I don't have any of that purple halo effect on my jelly bean. Then I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click Command J to duplicate this jelly bean that I just selected onto a new layer. Then I'm going to click the Move tool, and I'm going to select my jelly bean and move it over this line that's created in the middle and I'm just going to duplicate this jelly bean over and over again until it fills all of the lines. And as I'm duplicating these, I am rotating them as well so they look a little bit more natural. I'm also making sure that when I copy and move these that I'm bumping them right up against the edge and not crossing over because that will mess up my seamlessness. Then I'm just going to go ahead and color change some of these jelly beans so that they all kind of look like they match. I'm going to do this by pressing Ctrl U and changing the color, the saturation, and the lightness so they look like they blend in with the rest of the image. I'm just going to do this for the rest of my jelly beans, randomizing the colors so it looks like it's natural. Then all that's left to do is merge all my jelly bean layers into one layer. Once that's done, I'm just going to try scaling these down and setting a few of them next to each other to see if my tiling pattern worked. And there you go, a seamless pattern. You can use this in any of your projects. You can tile it as many times as you want and they will all fit together perfectly. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.